beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for beer review number 33. And today I have a brand new beer for you. I'm pretty sure this is fairly new, to be honest. It is Collective Arts, their IPA number three, or num no three, with Cristal and Citra hops. <clears throat> They, um, this is their, from their collective project, and they're saying this is their third IPA of this collective project. They've done uh, IPA number one and number two. Didn't have a number one, had a number two, thought that was actually pretty damn good. Also on the can is weird funky artwork, which Collective Arts is known to have because that's how they design their cans. They take artwork uh, from around the world and showcase it on their cans, get in those artists some exposure. This one is by Airy Burns of Bristol, UK, which is kind of neat, kind of some eyes and all that, real funky colors. Pretty neat, pretty neat. But we're not here for the artwork, we're here for the beer. So let's crack it open and see what we got. If I can get it in, in it. I'm going to use this. I cut my fingernails, so tabs are a bit of a pain here we go boom 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 today like a bay style tulip glass let's give it a pour see what we got coming in at 7.1 percent abv alcohol by volume and 80 ibus this is definitely up there for sure let's actually show the uh artwork so looking at this beer, it is hazy. It's a nice yellow color with a one finger head on this particular pour. And man, yeah, it's definitely hazy. Nice uh, color to it. You know, can't really see any carbonation through it because it is so hazy. But that's what I kind of like in IP. It's just the look of them look really, um, really fruity for sure, which IPAs usually are. Grapefruit, tropical fruits for sure. Crazy tropical fruits in here. A little bit of pine as well. I get some like mangoes, maybe some pineapples in there. I get pineapples for sure. Some orange, maybe even a slight bit of coriander, I want to say. We'll get right into that. So with the nose done, let's get into a sip and then we'll cheers. Ooh. Ooh, that is, that is magnificent. That is, ooh, damn, that is good. A lot of tropical fruits in there for sure. Mango, pineapple, like I said, a little bit of orange. It's like touch of coriander in the, in the uh, taste as well. Not too much pine in there. Uh, more in the smell, not in the, uh, in the sip. And for being 80 IBUs, I don't get it. It's just that juicy. Uh, even the look of it, like I said, very hazy, very uh, sweet looking, more or less. It's uh, it's ex the sweetness is up there, uh, and I don't really get the uh, I guess descriptive 80 80 IBUs in this can, which actually I don't think it says that it is 80 IBUs on the can. I think I got that from their website, but we'll get into that in a few. So let's read they have on the can it just says IPA number three with the uh, design brewed by Collective Arts Brewing Hamilton Ontario it's a limited release and return to refund kind of jazz that's really all it has in the can no um oh it does have a uh, brewed on date it looks like it says 24th of June so it is a little over a month old it's still damn good before we do that. Let's cheers everybody. Cheers. Oh man. The bitterness is there. It's more in the in the mid to finish. But it's a nice clean and crisp finish as well. And the fruits just kind of flow through. They really hit you when you first take a sip. And then uh, kind of tone down but still are there. Through, uh, through the finish and then linger on your palate as well with some of the uh, grapefruity and slight, very slight piney bitterness to it. 
<clears throat> which is quite damn enjoyable. So let's look here on the uh, Collective Arts Brewing website, which is collectiveartsbrewing.com. And for IB, blah, 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 IPA number three, they say, as a third addition to our IPA project series, our brewers followed up with tracking down some super fresh crystal and citra hops. Adding the hops in the whirlpool and not the boil lets the hops do the talking. Crystal adds a beautiful earthy and woody backbone while citra shines through balancing with notes of stone fruit, grapefruit, and lime. So I may be a bit off on my flavors, but that's okay. Everybody can pick up different things in the general sense of flavor, uh, flavors of beer. says 7.1 ABV or alcohol by volume and 80 IBUs or international bitterness unit so 80 being much more up there on the high scale generally it's out of 100 sometimes they go over 100 but this is damn delicious so hops like I've said about two or three times now crystal and citra and recommended serving glass in a uh, stange or a uh, vison glass don't know if tulip styles are kind of similar. I don't think so, but could be wrong. Good lord, that is good. Okay, looking over at Beer Advocate. It has been given a BA score of 87 out of 100, which is very good. And coming down to a review, gentlemen posted here that they gave it a 4.03 out of 5. They, uh, they said appearance. Pours a hazy gold with a nice big cream colored head that barely dissipates. Great retention, uh, Dalma Dalmatian lacing. So I guess that means like a uh, Dalmatian dog? Yeah, it's probably. Um, smell. Really strong, clean grapefruit smell that mixes with some hottish fennel sweet and s smells and sweet malt as it warms a little bready malt and some sticky hop spiciness taste citrus oil bitterness sweet barley malt some orange <clears throat> mouthfeel medium body with active carbonation and a dry finish overall a very nice beer i'm guessing that is a smash based on their label but i'm not positive either way it's very good nice looking with a citrus nose the flavor is more bitter with bready sweet underlying malt character this was a great beer at first but as it opened up a little it got a little that yeah, got a little messy with thicker malt and some phenolic spice heat that kind of overwhelmed com comparatively otherwise i like excuse me otherwise i likely would have rated it quarter point higher Overall, a nice beer all around. I definitely have it again, and it has really piqued my curiosity about their other beers. <clears throat> Sorry, it took me a little while to read that, but that's all right. So he seemed to uh, quite enjoy this beer, seeing that he gave it a 4.03 out of 5. I'm not really getting those... um malt and bready uh, flavors that he's getting but like I said everybody's a bit different I think this is really well done it's juicy it's sweet the bitterness is there but doesn't hit you in the face kind of thing it's definitely a bit more of a slow sipper seeing that it is 7.1% uh, so you definitely can't shotgun this or drink it as fast well, yeah, I guess you can shock and drink as fast as I am right now, but you wouldn't want to. You'd like to enjoy all the flavors. I sadly have to drink a bit faster because I do these reviews and I like to keep them under 15 minutes, hopefully. But damn, that is delicious. I do quite enjoy it, actually. IPA number three. Whew. 7.1%, you know, like that's that's pretty high up there for uh, for some beers, you know, but it definitely doesn't taste uh, as bitter or as potent as uh, as it is suggesting. Mm -hmm. 
quick other note, uh, besides the beer side of things, you can see that I'm in a little different location. I kind of switched my room around, made it a little bit more open spaced. And uh, so I got this wall and this treadmill over here. So trying to figure out how to shoot video, um, seeing like which spot would be best. I probably want to go move over to my couch. I just need more lighting because the lighting over in that corner is shit. But that's for, uh, that's just a little ramble about different changes on the channel. To my like 13 subscribers, Pfft. whatever, that's okay. Something I like to talk about. With that said, we got one final sip here, so let's choose from the final sip. Cheers, everyone. No, I gotta point out one thing. When he said that when it uh, warms up a bit and really opens up, he said it gets a bit messy. I'm getting more, I guess like by those two final sips, you know, it kind of changes. The sweetness is still there, but it, like he said, I think that's where I get those um, uh, thicker malt kind of flavors to it. It gets more, a bit more, uh, I guess, bold and deeper, uh, richer malt flavors. Not by much, but you can definitely notice a bit of a change. That's just something to, uh, to note, I guess. But overall, with all that being said, you know, it's a great beer. I definitely want to pick up more. Uh, next time I go to the LCBO, I gotta give it a solid nine out of ten for uh, for the whole for the beer itself. Just the flavor is just perfect. It's beautiful. It's a great IPA. It's a great um, embodiment of what an IPA should be. And I've had many. This definitely is a bit a uh, bit more uh, flavorful and juicy and a bit more sweet, which I love. Like that's it's it's a beautiful IPA. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, overall for presentation through the can and the extracurriculars or the website, I gotta also give it, I gotta, you know, I gotta give it about an 8. An 8, 8.5 out of 10 for presentation. One, the can is absolutely beautiful. I love how they do the artwork and I think they picked a great piece to put on this one. The color of the can too is really, you know, it's just sort of a glossy, uh, like, uh, aquamarine color and IPA number 3 and big, bold, um, Type font is also great. I uh, the ABV definitely a you know recommended thing to put on. I think it's mandatory here in Ontario. I wish they put sort of a um, like a set of ingredients, maybe a little bit of a description on the can as well. But also one thing, the brewed on date is definitely bonus points. But for like a little description and um, the IBU, you can definitely find that on their website, which is perfect as well so overall 9 out of 10 for the beer 8 8.5 for the presentation of it i think it's all said and done right now you know go out grab a can enjoy and uh like i always say crack a beer and enjoy cheers <laughs>